I've went through 800, 1,000, and 1,200 grit sandpapers polishing these frets. Right now I'm getting ready to go to the uh, 1,500 and 2,000 and uh, the, the paste after that, polishing compound. And uh, I'm going to touch these holes up where the pickup was back here. That's what this video is about. Stay tuned. I figured it wouldn't be right for me not to let you all see some of this or aggravate you a little bit with it, even though it's slow and painful as it is. Uh, so I'm going to get the camera and bring it over here to show you now what the frets look like right now. Like I say, I went through 800, 1,000, and 1,200 grit. And uh, they still look a little rough, but they're looking better each time. I'm going to get you right now and show you. Hold on. You can look at them here. They're starting to shine, but they're not really, let's see, maybe it's better back here. They're not really there yet. On a mirror image, you get a house that never sleeps set up on your guitar, and you're going to like the way the frets feel and the, the way the thing plays out and everything about it. Because it's a house that never sleeps set up. So let's go through the other two sandpapers. Now what I like to do here, take your fretboard protector, Lay it across the, the fret, and I was talking about cutting this paper, the width of that, or a little bit less than that, that's so you don't touch a fretboard, but I found it a little better to, uh, you still in there, yeah, just hold the thing down that way and go across this way with it. It's 1500 grit paper, so you're not going to hear very much of the grinding sound come out of it. Maybe a little bit. That 800 grit is really, you can hear it biting in compared to this. But th this is what we do all the way down that fretboard with this paper. Well, I'll have to cut another piece. And then uh, all the way down it again with 2000 grit. And then I'll get the camera and show them to you again. Well, after they're completed, I will. I'm not going to hold you up through this entire process. See, I'm just going to keep on going the way I'm going here. All the way down the rest of the fretboard. All the way down to the last one. i got to cut another piece of this 1500 and two more pieces of 2000. And I won't hold you up with that, but I want to show you how it's doing it. How I do it anyways. Hold on. Now, you're going to get your hands dirty when you do this, so be prepared for that. If you like pretty nails and pretty hands, you're going to get dirty doing this job. Alright, I'm going to go wash my hands, and I'm going to get the semi-chrome polish, and I'll show you how I do that. Put the final touch on them, and then I'll show them to you. Here's what the package looks like. Happich semi-chrome polish, the best absolute stuff I have ever used for polishing frets or just about anything else. I mean... I'm just going to, I'm not going to hold you through all this polishing all of them. I'm just going to show you the way I do it. I get asked this a lot even though I've got tons of videos on it. You just smear a little bit across each fret. Get several frets at a time. It's got a very lightly, very lightly abrasive compound in it. And it goes a long ways. A little bit of it. Okay, can, yeah, you can see. Now, the way I do this is rub the top of the fret good, but then turn your finger over and get the side of it, too, if you can. Both sides. Just do both sides of it, see what I mean? And look at that. Now, usually, when I'm applying this stuff, what do I come down to the, where I can see it? When I'm applying this stuff, I usually just keep using that same thing for a few times. Because you build up a grittiness there on your right. And you're getting new paste each time because you marked it on each fret, individual fret. But if you want to find a clean spot on your eye every time, that's up to you. I just find it faster this way and, and it works. There's no difference in it really. Look at that. I am going to change it though because that is looking pretty bad. This fret will not shine any more than the one before it, and the one before it that I just did before this one will not shine any more than this one does. I'm going to go back over these with clean spots on the right and rub each one of them off now. 
I mean, it's pretty much disappearing as I, I rub it, but still yet, you get a better shine if you go back over them with clean spots of the rag now. Let's start here and work back down that way. Oh yeah, look at that, man. And as you rub it off, get a clean spot every time. It's just almost time for me to go get another rag. <laughs> I just don't have many clean spots left on it. But this is the way I do it for those who wanted to know. Wow, I can see a huge difference in that going over the second time. And if you really want to get to even more of a shine, you can apply the stuff again. I've never had to do it twice, but you can. Anyways, I'll get you. When I get done, I'm going to get you. And I'll show these to you up close. Now this is what the house that never sleeps frets looks like. You can see a lot of reflection in there that it looks like scratches. When I move the camera, see the reflection moves so it's not scratches. Check that out, man. I see them, them looks like scratches right there. But I've moved the camera. See the scratches move. It's reflection, man. Nothing but plain, beautiful reflection. Every fret, like brand new. Like I say, they wasn't wore bad, they but just were, uh, they had those funky grooves in them. It ran the same direction the strings ran. Hold on, let me try something. Macro lens, baby. I can hold it still. See those scratches moving? Because <laughs> they're not real. Not real scratches. I don't know how close I can get with you on that. That's probably about it, yeah. Come on. There we go. Check that out, folks. That's the way new frets should look when you get yours back. Somebody does your frets for you and you get it back. It looks like that frets popped up, but that's a shadow. Because of the way the guitar is setting and the way this light shining down on it. Wow, well, just about dropped the camera. Anyways, there's you a good shot of brand new frets. Now, we're going to work on these. I glued toothpicks in those holes and cut them off. You can still feel them a tiny little bit. Might take a razor blade and shave that off of there. And then we're going to try to touch that up a little bit. Make it uh, look a little bit better. Your eye doesn't get drawn right into it then. And here's the stuff one more time. Happich Semi-Chrome Polish. I'm telling you, it's the best shit they make, man. You got to try some. You will use it on everything. Shelf life, I had a tube here I had over 30 years. And it was still good. Try it. These are just uh, acrylic paint. You can see them. You can see them or not. There you uh, Acrylic paint's all this is. I've got uh, burnt umber. Part number 20512E. And uh, chocolate fondue. <laughs> Part number 20258. I'm going to start with this burnt lumber one. I'm just going to mix it in a little cup here. Got a very tiny microscopic brush right there. And uh, I'm just going to cover in around here where the finish is completely gone from, you know, I guess that pickup maybe moved around there a little bit and the screws. Like I say, I put, uh, I put um, toothpicks in there, glued them in, and then shaved them off. But you can still see, you know, hopefully this will just help color it, cover it up a little bit. So let me, I may even have to mix it. Well, I don't know. That looks awful dark. What little bits on the lid. Let's look at both of them at the same time. They both look really dark. I don't think I'm going to have to mix them. So I'm going to go with this uh, burnt Uber, maybe that is. Umber or Umber. U-M-B-E-R. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Let me drip a little in the cup here. It's not going to take very much of this at all to get this done. 
All right. Give me this tiny, tiny, tiny little brush and get ever so little bit on it and let's see what it looks like. That's awful dark. I got more in the brush than I needed for something this tiny. And you know, there's a couple little places on the outside around. I'm just going to hit. You're still going to see this. You know, if I got into it and and uh, wanted to make it invisible, that would require sanding and finishing and quite a bit more work. I'm just wanting to seal it and cover it up where your eyes doesn't get sucked to it so bad. Like I say, you're still going to be able to see it, but it won't ever get any worse. With the CA glue on there acting as a sealant. And then this is just, uh, you know, kind of covered over a little bit. You know, I can't get enough. There's a wee little bit of a hole right there. It's like the toothpick is kind of inset a little bit. I was trying to, there we go. That did it. And that's enough. That's all it's going to take right there. Because like I say, when that dries, it takes about an hour for this glue to dry. And when it does dry, I'll take the uh, semi-chrome polish. I know you <laughs> new subscribers think that's probably crazy, but I'm telling you, I did it for years. It is a wonderful buffing compound for finish, guitar finishes. It comes closer to looking right than that other one did. And like I say, as uh, after this stuff dries, I'll go over it again with the uh, semi-chrome polish, and that will help blend that in a whole lot better than it's blending right now. You'll still be able to see spots there, but it's not going to be nearly like you're seeing it right now. But I got to wait until the glue sets up for that, and that takes at least an hour, so I'll probably just wait and come back in the morning and do it. Probably. Hope you all had a nice Christmas. Hope everybody had a great one. Get that in a cup of water there. Yeah, you know, it's probably be New Year by the time you see this video. <laughs> but that's that's the way dry. I can see it. Just want to leave it alone, let it dry, and uh, take the Happy Miracle Salve and lightly go over that, and it'll blend it in a lot better too. I wish it had a little bit darker though than that. I don't know how it's showing up in the camera, but it's it's not very dark like I thought it would be and that's the only browns I have I guess I could mix some paints and get into that one so there you go kids there's the uh, show for today and uh, the next video I think we're ready to string this thing up I gotta glue the nut back in it yet and uh, the bridge is ready I think it's ready to go next video we're gonna hear it hear this old girl moan <laughs> so stay tuned for that I'm anxious to hear this guitar. I love the sound of these arch tops like that. So, keep it here. Please thumbs this video up. It helps me a great deal. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And if you're one of the 90% of people that watch my videos and watch this channel, subscribe, man. It only takes a second. And you can tell by the title if you want to watch the videos or not. Please subscribe if you're watching my videos and they've helped you. Subscribe. Don't say nothing. Just do it. Don't say anything. Just do it.